All right, so it's time for another tutorial. I'm gonna do slide away because I'm stuck in a hotel room and I'm pretty bored. I haven't got my amp. I haven't got a camper. I haven't got anything apart from this little focus right here. Uh, I bought some of my pedals there, kind of packed into my suitcase. But I thought. I'll just go through slide away, go through the parts, and, uh, and make a little video. So here we go. Now, what, what's going on? Okay, so that first bit. He's just playing the, uh, what, what notes we got? E, A, D, G, B, E, the G string on the second fret, just to... And bend it up, I'm going to put a little bit of distortion on there. So just... Now he gets something that we call feedback. If you hold your guitar up to your amp whilst that string's playing and just kind of put the pickups towards the speaker, you'll naturally get that feedback. But I use this pedal here, it's called a freak out, and it's great. When you press that button, it emulates that, that, um, that, that octave um, natural high that you get from that feedback when you feed it into your, your cab speaker. So that's the first bit. Now, he comes into it quite clean after that. When he plays it live, he doesn't really do that feedback very much. Just a bit, and then he might stick it on a loop and come back to it later. For the first bit, it's on this scale here. I don't know what scale that is, I'm going to call it the Nickelodeon scale because he uses it a lot in his songs, it gives him a lot of his sound uh, particularly from A Storm in Heaven so have a bit of delay and and it's just a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs A lot of the flavour of this song is put, is hammering on at the same time both strings on the D and the G and the G and the B on the 12th and the 14th fret and also on the, uh, the open and the 2nd fret here so D and G and we've got G and B And then it goes into the song. Let's go. So he builds it up and then he'll kick in the distortion. So that's kind of the main lick. You start with an A, I think that's an A sus, so open, open, and then D and G on the second fret. And you go through that. Start on the A. And then slide the A up to the fifth. That's all played on the A and the D, so slide the A to the 5th, play the D on the 7th, take off the ring, bar it with your index, and then that bit's a 
bit tricky. jump from here but that's good because it cuts off that string and you just hear that that bend if that's played over two notes and this one's still ringing it wouldn't quite sound the same so that's the main lick there hopefully you can figure that out from from that See what else. Okay, so the first part of the song, he feeds in an A major chord. It's just A major, and then a D where you put your pinky on to do that. So do a D chord, and you put your pinky on on the third on the high E, take it off, and then take your middle finger off, so you get that. sus between A sus and G for hammer-ons. So just hammering on with your index. He's hammering on on the A sus here, and then keep the same pattern, second fret on these two strings, but instead of D and G, move it across to G and B, and do the same thing. And the last bit of that, you slide the G and the B up to 6 and 5 and you hammer on with your ring and your pinky on the 7th and nudge your pinky on the, uh, the B string up to the 8th Nickelodeon scale. And that is pretty much it. Um, towards the end, it kind of goes back to that. The intro. Um, 
um, and depending on what version you listen to, there's a lot of this. And, um, and live he does this kind of thing. Slide your middle on the G string up to 9. And then the 8th string on the B string. And then just jam it out. They're, they're, those are the main parts. I hope you found that useful. Um, sorry if the sound doesn't sound great. I'm still getting, this is the first time I tried this setup. Um, and there you go, okay. Cheers.